everybody. Welcome to Two Garden Hose. I'm Robin. Dee's behind the camera as usual. Uh, today we were supposed to be outside showing you how to amend your garden bed, your soil, do some raking before the season, but unfortunately we're in zone six and it's snowing outside right now as we are filming this. So we decided we would give you something else to do for, in particular, your area when you have bad weather that's going to keep you in a garden mode. Today we're going to show you a couple of really inexpensive, almost no cost projects that you can do on a day like today when it's snowing or raining that's going to keep you, your mind in the garden. Uh, I have some old catalogs here. I never want to throw them away. The pictures are so beautiful. I have old gardening magazines. I have home catalogs. They all have something really pretty in them. And so what I like to do, if I'm not going to keep it for reference purposes later on in the season, I like to cut them up and I like to do things with them. So in this first thing that I'm going to show you today is using a shoe box. And everybody's got a shoe box in their closet at home. I took old flowered wallpaper that I had hanging around and I wrapped the box like a present in two separate pieces. I covered the top, I covered the bottom, and I actually used an old fashioned stapler to attach this to the box. I'm gonna finish the last piece for you and show you what it looks like. I'm just gonna fold like you would a gift. And I'm gonna take my stapler and staple it neatly two staples on this end and that's it I stapled around the edge here just to make sure that the paper wouldn't move and then what I did was I took some cardstock or old pieces of cardboard that I had laying around I cut out some flowered pictures from one of my catalogs and I made dividers which I am going to put into this box or if you really don't want to get that fancy you can just cut the cardstock and put a label on top put them in and we've labeled these for flowers and vegetables and then I can store all my seed packets so I know where they are and they're all in one box and the box looks nice and everything's organized that's one idea just with a box you already have, shoe box from your closet. Another idea I'd like to show you is a way to store your catalogs if, or magazines if that's what you'd like to do. Some of them are just too pretty to throw away and have really good information in them. This is a store-bought holder which you can either use as it is, as it comes from the store, or you could cover this with pretty paper. For instance, the wrapping paper that I showed you before or another piece of wrapping paper or wallpaper that you have around or the cut up catalogs. The unfortunate part of this one is that you can only fit certain sizes into this particular version. So I've made my own version, which I've made out of various size boxes. Each box, either a cereal box or um, in this case, I've also used a mailing box. Everybody gets a package in the mail, and then what do you do with that box? You have to recycle it. This is a great way to recycle it. These are very sturdy, and if you cut them on the angle, which I've done here already, this one I've marked so you can see the angle, and then you just slice them down. I like to tape them on the bottom just to give them a little stability before I decoupage them or cover them with the paper. And then when they're finished, I can store any size magazine I choose and these are things if you don't go out and buy this this is something you have in your pantry and this is something you get in the mail simple enough free easy good way to keep your garden things together this is another great idea when you can't garden outside you can garden inside we've just purchased this beautiful Meyer lemon tree it's in a garden pot right now. We're gonna transplant it into this great big flower pot. We've got a drainage hole in the bottom. We're gonna take this scrubby pad, which everybody has at home, to cover the drainage hole so we don't lose the dirt as we fill it up to plant the tree. Uh, because we're doing a fruit tree, we're definitely going to be using organic soil. You wanna make sure that whenever you're doing anything to eat, you're gonna be using organic product. 
Today we've given you two great suggestions for how to garden inside when it's really dreary outside. Hope you enjoyed them. We enjoyed doing them for you. Join us again next week on Two Garden Hose.